KC Restaurant Week continues today. The week not only highlighting the amazing food we have here in Kansas City, but also a chance to experience different cultures on a plate. Our Ray Daniel sits down with the owner of Pollo and shares how he's bringing different cultures to your taste buds while navigating the pandemic too. Welcome to Pollo, where barbecue is showcased in a unique way. We do barbecue, but we do it in a, my way. <laughs> Owner Carlos Morteta calls it Mexican barbecue. I would have never opened a barbecue restaurant in Kansas City. <laughs> That's too much, too much controversy there. But uh, my father had chicken restaurants in Mexico. Chicken kind of translates to every culture also. Uh, and I call it Mexican barbecue because it's a blend. A blend of his own upbringing and his friends he's met along the way. I'm, I'm putting my experience on a plate of growing up in America. You know, I'm Mexican background, but I grew up in Kansas and moved around with friends from the Philippines and Korean friends and uh, just different cultures, Asian, uh, African friends. So we're trying to bring them all in one. Different cultural experiences all on one plate. It's a lot of Asian flavors and techniques. I'm working on some uh, Indian spice uh, lamb that we might bring in. You know, we have a peri peri, which is a South Af African pepper that we're trying to try to work on a salsa. So we want to add, you know, what kind of that melting pot that, you know, America is kind of and, and trying to showcase it in one restaurant. All right, we're going to order whenever you're ready. Pollo is a new restaurant, somewhat. We opened in May of 2021, uh, re re reopened. In November of 2020, they had to close their doors in Kansas City, Missouri due to the pandemic. It was hard. I mean, like closing a restaurant and owning a restaurant is one of the hardest things. Like. But now the restaurant is back, this time in KCK. When we closed, I wasn't planning on opening, but unless it was like the right spot. I found this place with a drive through That helps a lot. Uh, we're in a, our location is in a big street, which is 7th Street. And then we're in a community that there is not a lot of restaurants. And if there is, there's a lot of chains. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. The KCK native had to close and then found a way to reopen his restaurant all during the pandemic. Man, why open a pandemic? Because I'm insane. <laughs> when we found this space, I, I think I wanted to change the model of what food should look like, what drive through food should look like and be. And people are noticing. Even the first lady, Dr. Jill Biden, stopped by when she was in town a few months ago. It just makes you feel like you're doing something right. Morteta says there are good days and bad days as they move forward in this pandemic where changes can happen daily. It's just hard, you know. It's a lot of a lot of what ifs. So like every restaurant worker and owner, and especially like local non-chains, you know, we have staff issues. Prices are going up and we're here and we're trying to provide a good service and good food. Now, this is Pollo's first year participating in Restaurant Week. And Lindsay, something to note is Pollo is on Vantage Airport Group's list of restaurants, which could come to the new terminal when it opens in 2023. So you can check out the renderings on our website at kshb.com. In the newsroom, Ray Daniel, KSHB 41 News. That would make it a lot easier to get there early for your flight and grab some lunch. Ray, we were talking about this. That place is delicious. I mean, it's a, <laughs> yes. sounds weird to say the broccoli is fantastic, it's but it so is. It's so good. Yes, and there's so many, like, fresh vegetables in there mixed with that that chicken. I'm hungry now, Lindsay, just talking about it. And honestly, <laughs> if you're trying to eat healthy, it's really easy to do there. I haven't been to their new spot. I think we're going to go for lunch today. There right? you go. There you go. He said he really wanted to change the makeup of what drive through food should be. Oh, you had the rice bowl? Yeah, uh, did I? Yes, yes. <laughs> Inhaled it very quickly. <laughs> See? Now I'm hungry. Ray, thank you so much. Thanks, if you haven't Lynn. tried that, everybody, give it a try.